Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get exterior lighting set up very quickly, and in turn, how to get those lights managed as efficiently as possible. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you're anything like me, and you're often working with the directional light, the sky atmosphere, the skylight, and volumetric clouds, all of these environment lighting tools, um, you'll quickly realize that it becomes very cumbersome to work with all these tools right here in the details panel, you know, one at a time, it, you know, you're changing settings in your skylight, you're changing the values of your directional light, it very quickly becomes a real pain to one at a time go through each of these menus. Now, as of 4.26, Epic released a new tool called the Environment Light Mixer. So we're going to go ahead and delete all the lights I placed right here and start from scratch. So I gra grab these four, delete all, totally blank slate. Now, you're going to want to go to the Windows tab up here. And right here, you've got the environment light mixer. So it's going to open a, a window here. I'm going to have a dock down here for cleanliness. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, you've got, uh, you got about some five tabs here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create skylight, create atmosphere light zero, create sky atmosphere, and create volumetric cloud. Now you'll see this is totally not looking right. And the reason why for that is um, like this. So we're going to click on minimal here, we're going to go to normal and advanced, in your directional light setting, you're going to search for atmosphere, and you're going to uncheck sun atmosphere sunlight and check it up again. The next thing you want to do is in your skylight right here, you're going to want to click on real-time capture. Okay? In very few clicks, in two seconds, you've got a very nice looking lighting setup. Very quick, very simple, nothing complicated. So another little tip here. So if you press Control and L and you hold it while moving your mouse cursor, you can easily move the, your main directional light around like this. Um, this is not something I use all the time, but it's it can be handy when you're just kind of experimenting. You're not sure how things would look at a different time of day. Um, so it, it's kind of nice to work with. So the first perk of using the environment light mixer is you have quick and easy access to creating all the necessary tools to get your environment light set up. The second most important perk of using this tool is I'm going to go ahead and maximize this make it full screen, you now have access to all your light tools, all your light settings within one nice window. So I made it full screen now. Normally I would have this maximized on a second display, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna maximize it on my full screen right here. So as you can see, I have access to everything. Now, if for example, this is too much for you, you don't want all that information, all, that, this, all these settings, you can go ahead and set this back to minimal or normal. Personally, I like having access to all my settings without having to like, hey, wonder where did the setting go? Why is it hidden? Um, so I like having this to normal plus advanced. And that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. So not only do you have a way of quickly creating a lighting setup for your environment, but you also have access to everything you need in one nice clean window instead of having to do this. So if I wanted to change the brightness, I would have to click on my directional light, you know, adjusting the intensity. And then, oh, I need to bump up the brightness of my skylight. Click on the skylight, you know, change the setting here. So set it to one, two, three, four. Um, or if you want to change the volumetric clouds, you know what I mean? It, it just really, it's a pain to have to click in the outliner. And not just that, it, it's a matter of finding it in the outliner as well, because, you know, sometimes now it's a pretty simple scene, but you have a, a, a lot of objects you're seeing. Sometimes you need to go actually use the search tool, search for a directional, find your directional, choose the settings, switch your skylight, so on and so forth. The... Environment Light Mixer, it gives you much easier access to all the settings that a lighter may or may not need. So one more thing I would like to add is that this only works for environment light, so atmosphere-based light. So this includes direction light, the sky lights, the atmosphere, the sky atmosphere, sorry, and the skylight. So if I go ahead and create like a spotlight, a point light, and a rect light, you'll see these don't actually show up, even if I have this unchecked right here. They only show atmospheric lights. My other lights, they just don't show up. So it's important to know that this only applies for your environment, your global exterior, your main light. So it just won't apply for small local lights. And in a way, this is a really good thing because I often place, you know, like street lights and stuff in, this, in a scene. And I don't necessarily want those cluttering up my environment light mixer right here. I want just the global environment lighting settings to be accessible within this window. So it, it actually would be nice to have the option to, but for now, that's not the case. So if you have any questions at all, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, do let me know in the comments down below. I really love reading your comments and I get back to you as fast as I can. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be aware that I have new videos out and I'll see you guys next week.